It's a self-diagnosed brain tumor. Why don't you save yourself the trouble and I'll call psych. Have them handle it. Mr. Hoffman is complaining of head pain and blurred vision. If we send him up to psych without an evaluation, they're gonna send him right back down. Detective, can I help you? Uh, no. I was just gonna go talk to Dr. Weber. Oh, well, Dr. Weber is busy right now, but uh, if you take a seat, he'll be with you as soon as he can. Has the unfeeling staff sent you over here to die, too? I don't care what plan Carly comes up with. Do not let her drag you into it. I am done with interference. The, the, the jackal meant no disrespect by his untimely intrusion. I sincerely thought the divine one was in grave danger. Yeah, I understand, and I'm really lucky to have you looking out for me, but... Yeah, and I, I will always keep your best interests at heart, unlike others who put their primal urges okay. above other okay. people's we safety. Don't need, we don't need to... Can, I need to, can we go to my house? I need privacy. Uh, you know what I mean? We I'm sorry, Stone Cold issued specific orders. The divine one is not to leave the premises under any circumstances. Yes, but I just, uh, I, I really, really, Spinelli, please, could you just respect my choices? Yeah. yeah. Okay? Let's go. I got it, I got it. Okay. Uh, Why aren't you dressed? Um, well, for what? <sighs> Cocktail reception. Given by one of ASEC's major contributors at his hotel tonight. Brenda, Brenda, I told you about this days ago. Please, just go get ready. I need you there. I, I need you to charm this fellow out of some more money. Uh, Not tonight. I'm, I'm not even supposed to be out, right? Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. probably the last thing that uh, I should be doing is going and having small talk with a bunch of people who I don't care about. I mean, I understand it's important to you. It is vital. But it's Without contributions like this man can give us, ASEC can't afford to keep their doors open, let alone fund the programs that the kids need. Is it okay? Yeah, I'll go with you. Okay, great. <sighs> not a chance. Uh, uh but... I just offered to escort her to the charity. Will you got a problem with that? You don't know? Um, you are a known crime figure who was just tried for murder. Actually, uh, I was exonerated. There is no way Brenda can afford to be seen in public okay. with you, let alone anywhere else. Well, I'm pretty sure that who I'm seen in public with is my business. No, so let's no, just... no. When you are parading someone around at an event for a charity that I have spent years building, it becomes my business. Well, Sonny's my priority. I thought ASEC was. Okay. You're, you're being ridiculous. Brenda, I am begging you. There is a room full of people waiting for us. For you. Okay, well, if it's that important, then I'll just go get dressed and we'll go, right? We'll all go yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'll be right down, okay? Yeah. Uh... If you think you can use the charity to drive a wedge between me and Brenda, I got news for you. Ain't gonna happen. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, what are you doing? I'm meeting you halfway. Oh, I like a woman who takes initiative. No, 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 why are you stopping? You, if you don't tell me what's going on with you and Dr. Niles, you can kiss me and your half of the million bye-bye, okay? I, I will go straight to Edward and, and tell him that you are bailing on this marriage for a blonde, no less. Don't do that. There's no need to do that. See, I'm not even into Lisa, <laughs> all right? And she's not my type anyway. You know, she's way too crazy, way too clingy. I only pretended to be dating Lisa to help out Johnny. See, he's got this whole thing going on with Lisa on the side. He doesn't want Olivia to find out. So. God, that's great. God, Thank you me. are such a good friend. God, I mean, I'm not married to a cheater. Just a pimp. Fight. Don't be fooled. 
Underneath their apathetic exteriors lies raging indifference. These so-called professionals would rather see our rotting carcasses in these chairs than to lift a finger and perform a single exam. This hospital is the very definition of purgatory. I may as well be playing the damnation scene from Faust. Poor Don Giovanni and go by the flames of hell. You know opera. Yeah, come on, don't act so surprised. It's not often I meet someone who shares my enthusiasm. I got a thing for a tragic love story. And what, may I ask, is your take on Gutter Dameron? I always felt that the drowning of Siegfried would have been more effective earlier in the third act. Well, Siegfried was stabbed, not drowned, by Hagen. But then you knew that, didn't you? Doctor Just Bob. checking. <laughs> uh, Epiphany said you wanted to see me. Yeah. You uh, got a minute? Yeah, sure. Oh, hey, it was, uh, it was nice meeting you. Always happy to meet a fellow opera enthusiast. <laughs> this is preposterous. The chief of staff has time to chat while diseased flesh is left to fester? Have you somehow forgotten that I'm still being denied care over here? Oh, Dr. Piles, how nice of you to join us. Sorry about that, I had a personal emergency. Oh. <laughs> I don't care where you've been. All I care about is how many of these patients you can take off my hands. Dr. Ralston to oncology. Dr. James Ralston to oncology. A second autopsy shouldn't be a problem. Just put in for a transfer and I'll make sure you have the hospital's full cooperation. I appreciate that. This could be the break in the investigation we've been looking for. Okay, why don't you